Hey guys, welcome back to Mama Dubay. I'm Shelby and I make videos all about motherhood. Are you actually pregnant? I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly out through the dreams where the skies are so clear. I feel like I can already see the blind. I wanna stay with you. I am the mom to a two-year-old who is over here playing. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> and I'm also about 16 weeks pregnant with my second one. I have a lot of experience as a nanny, so I've worked with toddlers and children for a very long time. And in today's video, we are doing a Valentine-themed activity day where I give you a bunch of ideas that you can do with your little one. So the first thing I'm gonna say, which I say in a lot of my activity videos, is that I don't spend a lot of time on setup when it comes to activities for my toddler, and that is just because the attention span of your toddler and their interests always vary. So you never really know what your toddler's gonna be into, what they're just not gonna want anything to do with, and all of that. So just know that the activities that I talk about are very simple, easy, and low effort activities. But as a stay-at-home mom and someone who is here on a regular basis with my toddler, I do want to make the holidays extra special. So I want to do something with him. And the first activity that I wanted to mention is the fact that I already have an activity video from last year. Lucas was one at the time, but the activities that we did that day are all activities that you can still do with a two-year-old, probably even up to a three-year-old, just because they're really simple activities and lots of fun. So last year we did sensory noodles where we just made some spaghetti and dyed them red. We also made a card with his painted footprint that said racing to you. So we turned his little footprint into a race car. It's kind of the theme around here for him because he's very much into cars and so is his dad. And then we did some water play. So three simple activities and just if you want to look into those, go watch that video. And then the next thing I wanted to mention is you can do something like make Play-Doh with them and just dye it a color that is Valentine themed. And that's another easy Valentine activity that you can use over and over again. So we made this Play-Doh a while back, probably two weeks ago, and we're still using it now. But I will link that video here. I did it in a vlog one day. So if you wanna skip ahead to that part in the video that is linked here, go ahead and do that. And then one thing that I always like to do around the holidays is go to the Dollar Tree. So if you go to the Dollar Tree, there's always themed things. And I always look for window clings. And unfortunately this time, I think I made it a little too late to the Dollar Tree. So they were completely out of all of their window clings that were re related to Valentine's Day. But those are nice little fine motor skills that you can use with your toddler where they have to peel off the sticker and stick it to the window. And it's just a nice, cute little way to decorate at home with them. But I did pick up some things at the Dollar Tree. I got these two coloring books. We've got a Mickey Mouse one and kind of an activity one that hopefully he might be interested in so that we can practice some numbers and do some activities together. He's not really been into like the school side of learning yet, so that might change. Obviously he's playing in the background, so if you hear him, that's what that is. But these coloring books, I'm gonna use them for his Valentine's Day basket. And then I also got two small things of candy for him to go in his basket. And that's all that I picked up, but Going to the Dollar Tree will just give you lots of ideas, and I, I recommend going as soon as the season starts. Another great idea is to look for some Valentine's Day themed books. We absolutely love this one. It's called, I'll, I'll put it right here on the screen. It's called Snuggle Puppy, and it's by Sandra Boynton. We love Sandra Boynton books, and this one's just really adorable. So I recommend this book, and then there is Llama Llama I Love You. That's another really cute one. And really, there are a lot of them. So I'll link a few below if you are interested in those. They're great to add to a little gift basket for your little one. Okay, but right now, I'm going to go ahead and get a card ready that we're going to make this year for our friends and family. Thank you. 
Does it tickle? Obviously these stickers are difficult to peel the back off of and Lukey's not really in a crafty mood today so he doesn't really want to do it and this is why I recommend very easy crafts. How much more simple does this get? So if you find some different stickers that have a little bit easier backing to pull off just get a piece of paper that says happy Valentine's Day and put some stickers on it and you've got a Valentine's Day craft. So today was my day to record and Lucas was very much not into doing any of these crafts with me and that's just the reality. So maybe your child is a little bit more crafty than mine is at this age, but it is what it is. So I wanna show you all the things that we did today. We made this adorable little card and on the inside it says, be mine. And then I used another handprint to make a card out of that one. So we also have the sticker craft where he did two stickers. <laughs> so those are all of the simple ideas that I have to share with you today. I hope you did enjoy today's video and that you got some ideas so that you can do something simple with your little one. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I do activity videos. I talk about, about pregnancy and how everything is changing throughout my pregnancy. And yeah, I just post videos all about motherhood and what life is like as a stay-at-home mom. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.